Hey there, it's Dana and welcome back. In today's video, I want to share with you EFT or tapping for the feelings you might be going through being stuck at home for the last couple months during the coronavirus pandemic. I feel you, I'm with you, and some days it's very challenging. You know, this has never happened before. We're not used to just being at home all day, every single day. And some of us, some people with um, who are in the high risk category, like people with underlying health conditions and the elderly, you know, I've heard from my, uh, my aunt and my parents that they are stuck at home all day. They, don't, they are fearful to go anywhere. Fortunately for us, we've been able to go uh, at least to our, our local garden or go into the backyard. Some people don't have yards, so it's, it's just a very challenging time for a lot of people. And I wanted to share this video to help, um, to help out a little bit. Okay, so if you're new to tapping, feel free to watch another tutorial I did in the past to show you how to start tapping. In this video, I'll go straight to uh, helping you to relieve the anxiety and overwhelm about being stuck at home. And so at this point, find a seated position where you can be comfortable with your feet on the ground and your back, just relax and start to take some deep breaths now. Hmm, just like that, breathing in and out a couple more times, starting to feel your body wherever you are and going inwards, checking in with yourself, validating how you're doing, how you're feeling in this moment. And start to think about the fact that you've been home uh, for you know the last month or two and any feelings sensations you have about that you know maybe fearing that if you go outside that uh, something might happen to you and your family being at home perhaps um, not being able to be active whatever it is that's bothering you, that's giving you uh, anxiety perhaps, overwhelm perhaps, maybe some um, anger, whatever it is. Frustration is another one. Notice that and give it a name, validate yourself. And from a scale of zero to 10, 10 being the highest intensity, just give it a number now. And keeping a, a notice of that, and this is where we'll start as your baseline, okay? One more breath in. We're gonna start tapping on your hand. That's called the karate chop. And three setup statements. Even though I've been stuck at home for a while now, it's been so frustrating. I get bored, I feel trapped. I deeply, completely love and accept myself. And take a deep breath. The breath is very important in this process. And you can tap on the left or the right hand. Even though I've been stuck at home for so long and I'm here with my family, I'm here alone, whatever it is that, that you've been going through, give it a name. It's been very difficult to be home and not do the things that I love to do outside. I allow myself to take a deep breath and relax now. And even though it's been so difficult to stay home every day, I'm afraid to go outside and it's so hard for me and my family. I give myself permission to relax now, take a deep breath. Okay, we're gonna go to the eyebrow points. One side or both sides. I've been stuck at home. These walls I've been seeing every single day. So I lie. All this anxiety and overwhelm and frustration. 
I feel it in my body, under the eye. I've been stuck at home, I feel so trapped under the nose. I can't, I'm not free to leave my home because I'm so scared of this pandemic. Under the mouth, I'm scared for my family. Collarbone, I live alone. You know, I'm just giving a voice to different types of people and so Feel free to apply it to yourself. I live alone and sometimes it feels very lonely and sad and, and scary. Heart. I've been stuck at home. I feel so, tr so trapped under the arm. I would like to be able to go about my business, about doing everything that I love again but I don't know when that's gonna happen. Top of the head, it seems like things are getting worse and worse every day. Side of the eyebrow. I am scared. I am trapped. I am bored. I am frustrated. Side of the eye. I want to go outside, I want to exercise, I want to go to the store, but I can't without fearing for my life. Breathe under the eye. The news is overwhelming, so I don't know what to trust anymore. I feel so hopeless under the nose. Everything. The quarantine keeps getting extended and no one knows what's going to happen under the mouth. It's such an uncertain time right now. Collarbone and I am scared. Yeah, I'm unmotivated. I've been feeling not myself. I've been feeling low and tired. I have not been exercising and not taking good care of myself. Another arm. Definitely not helping the situation and watching the news and it's not helping at all. Top of your head. But maybe there's something that I could do about the situation. Maybe I can take advantage of this time to slow down, to look within, to better myself, side of the eye. I don't know what that means or how to do that under the eye. Maybe this is an opportunity for me to transform in some way. I just don't know what that looks like yet. I do have more time to do things. Perhaps I should try doing things that bring me more joy, more satisfaction, whatever those things are. Collarbone. In this moment, I choose to relax more at home. Under the arm, I am safe at home. I am grateful for that. Top of the head, at least I have a safe place to be right now with everything that I need. Eyebrow, I guess it's not so bad here. I have so much to be grateful for. Side of the eye. But it suits me to feel down and out and negative under the eye. That's what everyone else is doing. It feels right to join in on the drama and the sadness and the fear under the nose. But it does bring me down and I feel sick under the mouth. It really isn't serving me or my body and my mind and my spirit. Collarbone. 
What is it that I should be doing for myself that I haven't been? Maybe I just need to take better care of myself. What is that supposed to be to mean? I can start by eating well or doing things that bring me more love, more joy, more peace. So I can exercise. I can rest. I can meditate. So I did I. There's. A lot of things that are possible, even at home. Under the eye, I can still walk around my neighborhood. Under the nose, as long as I'm breathing, there is something to be grateful for. Under the mouth, I still have my health. Shift my consciousness. I choose to shift the way I think and feel. Heart. I choose to feel gratitude and love and joy. I'm still breathing. I'm still living. I'm still alive. Positivity and energy and light and love, letting it go. I'm letting it go now. It's time to let it go. Let it go. I'm love. I'm peace. I'm safe. I'm protected. I am joy. I surrender to love. Release and let it go. Release and let it go. Release and let it go. All is well. Go to your wrists. All is well. I'm safe. I'm loved. And just take a few deep breaths. Feel free to close your eyes and just. Being mindful of yourself, where you are, going inward. Feel your feet. Feel the energy vibrating within your whole body. Feel your heart beating. Feel the love, the light that is in your heart and in your whole entire body. Feel yourself radiating the love that you are. And this, my friend, is the light that you want to be sharing. With your family, your friends, your community, the world. This is how we're gonna get through this together. If every single one of us stay in the light, be positive, take good care of ourselves and our loved ones, and just focus on what truly matters in this moment. Just setting healthy boundaries. 
where you fill yourself up, your life up with goodness and gratitude. Thanks for joining me today and stay tuned for more uh, health, wellness, and healing videos from me. If you liked and enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more.